हेलो डियर चिल्ड्रेन नमस्ते एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू द बायो बाइट सीरीज फॉर क्लास टेन आई सी एस ई येस आई थिंक मच अवेटेड सीरीज फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हू आर इन क्लास टेन आई सी एस ई दिस ईयर सो येस लेट आस गेट स्टार्टेड दिस इज अम्बिका योर बायोलॉजी मास्टर टीचर राइट यूर ऑन द सुपर अमेजिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ वेदांत ओके गाई सो एज यू नो थ्रू टू इट्स नेम बायो बाइट्स इन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स वी जस्ट इंटेंट टू गिव यू शॉर्ट एंड क्रिस्प videos which will really help you in quick revisions let me remind you that if you want to learn this well in detail please do remember to check out the main playlist where everything has been done well in detail so today we are going to be picking up one major topic one high scoring topic of class 10 icsc which is cell cycle not the entire chapter of cell cycle it's just about the cell cycle aspect of it the main cycle okay so yes as always starting with a positive quote please remember always that dreams don't work unless you do so without doing your part there's no point just sitting and dreaming and also remember children we've got amazing courses for you at vedantu uh, vedantu pro subscription is out there for you so to register in order to ensure that you can access all the fast track courses and all of those live sessions out there please remember to visit the link in the description box below apply the coupon code ambpro to avail it at the best prices okay so yes here it is about the cell cycle remember that division of the cell is something very very important as far as the cell is concerned a cell is formed a cell divides so cell cycle basically is the time period um which we can say is the life cycle of a cell we know that you know division of a cell um varies from cell to cell and from organism to organism for example um in general we know that uh, yeast cells divide every 90 minutes cells in the human cell culture divide once every 24 hours but even among human cells every single type of cell has its own duration like how often it divides there are some which divide uh, once a year uh, some which divide every two years some which divide uh, like uh, every few months and so on okay so that all that aside let's remember phases of the cell cycle are super important for you to know the cell cycle the the overall life cycle of a cell as i was telling you um, can be divided into two basic phases which are the interphase and the m phase so interphase uh, which includes all of these okay uh, remember g1 starting with this g1 s and g2 these three together form the interphase that's why all of that is marked in that uh, yellow circle marked as i here stands for interphase and m phase is this one short segment which is the actual cell division also called the mitotic phase now g0 is an additional step uh, you might remember it but anyway i'm here to remind you of all that okay so starting with the g1 phase so this is where we are starting off this this portion g1 phase wherein um this is the phase of cell cycle that corresponds to the interval between mitosis and initiation of dna replication basically a cell is formed okay how did it how was it formed by mitosis of its parent cell okay so from the previous mitotic cycle daughter cells have been formed one individual cell each individual cell is entering into the g1 phase we are now looking at the g1 phase of one individual cell okay so as you see in this image it's showing you two cells there which are the two newly formed cells which are entering into g1 phase early g1 as you can say uh, from n uh, which are end products of the previous mitotic division <coughs> so yes we can say that this is the time during which the cell prepares itself uh, before dna replication occurs so in order to replicate what all does a cell have to do it takes care of all of that it prepares for it entirely uh, it's it keeps growing uh, but then it does not replicate its dna it just it's metabolically active and it continues to grow that is g1 phase okay and then comes um, the synthesis phase g1 and then comes the s phase okay so we are done with this phase we are now coming to the s phase which s stands for synthesis so what is getting synthesized dna synthesis is happening here and during this time the amount of dna per cell would double up true to its name dna replication occurs so this is what happens in synthesis phase this is followed by the g2 phase which is this phase okay so g1 s and g2 we're moving this way clockwise 
what happens here proteins are synthesized in preparation for mitosis the cell growth keeps continuing so initially in g1 preparation for dna synthesis in s phase the actual dna synthesis and doubling of dna and in g2 phase proteins are synthesized in preparation for mitosis because after g2 the cell has to enter into the m phase so this is g2 now coming to g0 phase which is that additional phase now this is not seen in every cell but uh, rather it's seen in some cells like in the case of heart cells um, or the nerve cells and all of that which don't divide once they are mature okay so they um, what they do is they exit the G1 phase uh, after M phase once they are formed. They exit the G1 phase and enter into an inactive stage. That is what we mean by the G0 phase. Okay, something like a resting stage. They don't divide any further. Okay, so here is an overview of G1, S and G2 for you. Um, so yes, once um, a cell has reached G2 phase, obviously it will enter into the M phase or the mitotic phase, which is divided into four stages, if you remember, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. And after telophase, the cell would split up its cytoplasm and becomes two independent daughter cells by cytoplasmic division or cytokinesis. All right, so here it is. This is what M phase is. Number of chromosomes, remember, in the parent cell and in the daughter cells would be exactly the same. And this is why we also call it equational division. If the parent cell has 46 chromosomes, the daughter cells would also have 46 chromosomes. This is what M phase or mitosis in general means okay so i think uh, that animation is there to summarize everything that happens in m phase um, i will be showing it to you um, like step by step of course but here you can have a look at it when we are done with it while you have the notes um, okay so yes the prophase starting with the prophase wherein pro or first first phase preparatory phase um, so yes, we know it's gone through G1, S and G2. It's now entered into the prophase. So the chromosomes are basically condensing into X-shaped structures. And the centrioles would move apart. They would reach the opposite poles. The centrioles are moving apart to reach the opposite poles. And then spindle fibers begin to appear. All of this is like in preparation for further stages of mitosis. Also remember, nuclear membrane and the nucleolus would disappear because they might come in the way of... Um, movement of the chromosomes then comes metaphase always remember meta stands for middle okay middle so yes true to its name the chromosomes are aligned at the middle of the cell at the equatorial pole uh, sorry at the equatorial plane of the cell okay with the help of spindle fibers it's there and the spindle fibers attach to the centromere as you can see then comes anaphase ana would mean opposite okay so what happens the sister chromatids are pulled apart to opposite poles by shortening of the spindle fibers and as you can see a tiny furrow begins to form at the middle of the cell that is anaphase and then comes telophase telo would mean end or the tip so yes the two sets of daughter chromosomes have reached the opposite poles and that cleavage um, is becoming deeper the furrow is becoming deeper in the middle and uh, of course the nuclear membrane becomes reformed the nucleoli also reappear in preparation to making them two independent cells right and that is followed by cytokinesis which is cyto cytoplasm kinesis means division or splitting up the cleavage furrow deepens further separates into two daughter cells that's about it as simple as that so yes the session in a bite size for you we have discussed so many things which will easily fetch you a lot of marks if you're really lucky this will come for five marks if not in section a at least of your paper something will be coming from this okay one of the exam favorite topics this is now g1 phase um where the cell is metabolically active duplicates organelles and the cytoplasmic components or the cytosolic components it starts replicating centrosomes all kinds of preparation except dna synthesis and then comes s phase where dna synthesis or replication happens and then comes the g2 phase wherein cell growth continues enzymes other proteins are all synthesized and it's completely prepared to enter into the mitotic phase which is divided into four prophase metaphase anaphase 
phase and telophase. This is also followed by the stage which we call cytokinesis. Also remember children, cytokinesis. Also remember this, I-P-M-A-T. This is the order, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Cytokinesis, if you want, you can add it after this. Okay, that's about it. So yes, children, thank you very much. If you have found this useful, please click on the like button right now. Please share it with all your class 10 ICSE friends. Definitely they are going to benefit from this in their last minute revisions especially. And stay subscribed to this channel because we are going to be coming up with a lot more sessions like these and also more and more creative sessions to make your studies a lot simpler. And uh, yes, guys, also you can follow me on Instagram, Ambika underscore Vedantu, because we keep putting up a lot of um, useful posts for you on a regular basis all right guys so i'll see you again in yet another amazing session take care stay happy and stay healthy bye bye